Ben Maidu here and welcome to a new video. Um and this video is a little bit special because I will be showing you guys how I draw my Furbies. Um because I draw Furbies and people have been wondering how I draw them on TikTok. Um so yeah I'm gonna give you a long tutorial on how to draw every single generation of Furby. So um this applies to all generations. How I start is I just make two bubbles. So I don't know if you guys can see. I just make one bubble like this. You see? Just one circle. And then another circle right under it. Like this. So now you kind of have like a snowman. Um, and now I'm going to start by drawing a 1998 Furby. Of well, course you're going to need some reference. So I have reference right here. Um... So, um, you're gonna wanna lengthen this, make some sort of a question mark like this, and another question mark on this side, like this. So you can see I made these two question marks, upside down question marks, like this. So this is kind of the sketch I'm going with. And now you're gonna want to trace the belly of the Furby, which will go from around the neck down to the legs like this so I will be showing you right after I'm done you just want it going like this and you can see I made this belly kind of shape um, so that will be the body of the Furby uh, and to make the paws you kind of just make two squares like this here on the bottom of every single leg so you kinda have two squares like that um, now you're gonna make the ears, which are just some triangles, at the sketching part, just make two triangles on each side, like this, some triangles, and depending on what kind of Furby you make, you can make a mane or just a bun on top, like that. And now you kinda have the sketch done, so the Furby is facing you. Now this is a choice, you can make the kind of uh, plus thing on the head like this, um, to trace where you want to put the face element. I don't do that, but if it helps you, you can do it. You're gonna place the beak as a little circle at the around the bottom of the um, face. And then you're just gonna trace a faceplate. Which I don't know how I'm gonna describe to you, it's just a faceplate. Now, make sure you do the sketch with a pencil and not something that's not raisable. Because now we're gonna make the actual Furby with uh, this black marker thing, which, let me show you, it writes like this, so it's not erasable, uh, and it's way darker than the pencil, so we'll be able to draw over the pencil. So now, using the sketch you've made, you're going to start drawing the Furby itself. So, how I start, how I do the faces is, uh, and look carefully now, I kind of just do two shapes like this. So, these two little things here, I make them usually at the sides of the face, every single side. You can make up to three of those V shapes at the face, the formed Vs, I describe them. So you make them on this side as well, and then you kind of just make the face round. So, let me show you. So, I made another set of Vs there, and then I'm just gonna make the round shape of the head so as you can see I made the round shape of the head but I didn't make it down here because it's the neck and it's not gonna be completely done now I'm gonna start with the ears which are just you kinda just trace them over the sketch like this so you don't really have to do much on these the size depends on your preference you do them like this like these deformed softened V's and then I'm not sure how well you guys can see but um, what I do next is I make this shape on the ear so this shape right here it looks like some sort of an uh, softened S and I'm gonna do it on the other ear and it ends at the bottom of the ear like at the top here so um, if the ears are up, you're also gonna make another one right right here like this. So another one of those shapes right over here. 
and another one on this side. So now it will kind of look like a rolled towel. That's what the ear will look like. And if this is a preference, you can add some um, fur in the ears. As you can see, I added some little fluff in the ears. And now the tuft, the little round thing on top, you're just gonna make it over the sketch. But you're gonna want to make some uh, fluff marks. Like these little V's over it. Just don't make it round completely. So uh, yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Now, on my Furbies, at the chest here, at the chest I put um, a little fluff thing. So um, if you want to do that, feel free. Um, so now I'm just going to trace over the um, sketch like this. Make those edge shapes. So as you can see, I made over the sketch. I just gone over the sketch and now I'm gonna do it the same with the belly but on the belly I'm gonna add some little fluff V's I don't know what to call these they're just it's just fluff so I've traced over the belly you can see that now we're just gonna put some of the ties there and leave space for the paws which are gonna be like this So around those um, bricks that you drew, you're just gonna draw three um, three toe beans, but those toe beans will literally be ovals. So first, to, if you're a starter, you'll want to draw the middle one first. So the middle one, and then the other ones will be under the middle one, like this. So they won't overlap the middle one. Um, so that's kind of the body. The body is done, and now we're just gonna draw the faceplate. So I'm just gonna start with the beak, right? So we have the little beak there, the little circle on the face, and then you're gonna draw the mouth, which I just draw like a little um, free, a free shape, just on the beak. And then I will trace the faceplate, just like that. And there we go, we have a faceplate. Now we're just gonna draw the little mark that the Furbies have on their forehead. The eyes will just be ovals. You can see the eyes are ovals. And then I'm gonna draw another oval in them. Like this. You can see now it has pupils and just add the pupil. Now, let me try to find an eraser. And erase the sketch. This is what we got. This is the Furby. We drew a Furby. Now I'm gonna erase the sketch so you guys can see it better. Just one second. So this is what we got drawn. Now, you don't necessarily need reference for these because they don't really look like, like the real thing. Um, but... I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and this is just for the 1998 Furbies. So I'm gonna do one for every single generation. This is the one for 1998. I'm gonna uh, do the 2005 next. Right now, guys, we're gonna draw the 2005 Furby, which is very similar to the 1998. You just kind of change some stuff at the ear, and um, you don't draw the tuft on the head like that. Um, but I'm gonna show you. Um, so. You start the exact same way, the circle on top and another circle on the bottom, just make this one longer. You make the S shapes just as the other one, and necessarily if you want make the head bigger, like this. Um, we already have this shape, and just as the other one you draw the belly. So it's kind of the same, uh, I'll tell you when things change. But for now, it's basically just the same. So you draw things the exact same way, but... Um, now, at the ears, you're gonna draw them like more like circles. So, more like circles, like this. So we're gonna draw another one of those circle ovals, however you wanna call it. And instead of the big 
tuft on the head like the 1998 one. It's just there a small little nub over here. Just not as big as the 1998 one. So you do it like that, and you're not gonna put a faceplate, because 2005s don't have faceplates. So you're just gonna draw the beak and the eyes. as three circles on the face. Now, the legs go kind of the same. Uh, just if you want, you can add the little nails that 2005s have. Uh, you're not gonna draw a tail or any kind of tail, unless you're drawing a funky Furby. So I'm gonna draw a funky Furby in this case, because they're basically the same thing. So for a funky Furby, you kind of just make a V like this, like a tail shape. So I think this is pretty easy to re replicate, just a kind of tail coming out from this side. You can also make a tail in multiple po poses, like like this, or however you want it, covering the f little bit. However you want to draw them. So, if you're drawing a 2005, just don't do the tail. But that's kind of the rule. Now, we're already done with the sketch, and now we're gonna get into the drawing. So, just as the other one, I'm gonna draw the two little nubs, uh, nubs of fur at the edges of the face, like that. Uh, and on this one, I usually make a little tuft on the head as well. You can see it right here. I can make this tuft. So if you wanna do that, do it too. Um, now I'm just gonna draw the eyes. Like this little thing. And also if you want to draw the eyelashes, you can draw the eyelashes, but I usually don't. So, you already have a kind of face place. Now you just draw the free mouth, just the same as the other one. Uh, and now you draw the ears, which are just gonna be really slightly fluffy. And more... Uh, big than the 1998 one so you just kind of draw the fluff like this around them and now on these you're gonna want to draw a more pronunciated s that doesn't end so it doesn't end at the end of the year like this one this one doesn't end it, it just stays like that so you repeat it on this the other one as well and then you're just gonna draw a small X like that. So just another kind of thing, this little branch like coming out. And you're gonna draw a little thing here, a little dot on each side. And you got the ears. Uh, that's kind of just how the ears look. So now we're gonna draw the little knob on the top of the head, which is just gonna look like this. It's just a little like looking like. So sorry for the cut, but um, my phone doesn't have storage. Anyways, so just as the 1998, you just kind of draw the body like this. Go down like this. You just kind of draw it the same way. So it looks like this. Now you're going to trace the belly. Uh, and as the other one, I'm going to make the little fluff on the chest. That's optional. You make the round shape of the belly and the leg. Now just uh, the toes. Alright, looking good. So it's pretty much the same. And now you're pretty much done if you wanted to draw 2005. But if you want to draw Funky Furby, you just add a little tail. Which is just a little fluffy V coming out of behind the Furby. So if you want, you can add the stripes for the Funkies. You can do that too, like that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much your 2005 Furby if you want to draw 2005. Let me erase the um, sketch. This is what we get as 2005 slash funky Furby. So um, now we're gonna move on to the newer generations like the 2012 and Booms. So I'm just gonna draw uh, 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 2012 
because it's basically the same thing as the boom, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what the differences are. So, this one's going to, I usually draw it much smaller than the other ones, uh, but you start the same, the two bubbles, you know them, the two bubbles. Now you're going to draw this shape on the ears, make the ears much smaller than the other ones, like that. So it's kind of look like circles, but more oval. So you're going to do that. Now, if you're doing a 2012, some of them have these kind of tufts on their head. You can see here. Um, and then you kind of just draw some uh, circles for the paws on these. So you just circles on the paws. And as the tail, just draw two lines out here. And then make a um, kind of droplet. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, you're going to draw the faceplate, of course. The beak goes kind of into the faceplate, half of it, and you're done. Now, I'm gonna start uh, doing the actual drawing, which is not much different from the sketch. So, I'm gonna start, of course, I'm gonna add my signature to, like, um, fluff from each side of the head. I'm gonna just make the head round now. I'm gonna make the beak round and nice. Now the faceplate. I think you guys know what I'm doing. And now on the faceplate, these don't have the same shape as 1998, so I'm gonna draw the 2012 shape. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, and then I'm gonna draw the eyes, which I usually draw gray if I color them because, and I don't give them pupils because these only have gray eyes because they're digital. So that's a choice, I guess. Of course, you can always go out of bounds with your custom designs or OCs. Um, now I'm just gonna draw the little droplet on the head, just like I uh, did in the sketch. And now the ears, I'm just gonna trace them like this. This shape, doing it perfectly, might take a bit, a little bit of practice. But you have these two droplets going from the head outside. And on these, you're just gonna make a little... Um, C shape, elongated sh C on each side here you can see I made this so and only from only on the top because hold on let me get my 2012 here so if you look on these ears they have this kind of um, thing here so you're gonna also draw that so this is why I drew these little uh, C's in there so Next, you're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna draw the fluff, the chest fluff, as always, and just make them fluffy round, just a fluffy round body. That's just pretty easy, right? So you got the fluffy round body. Now you stop at the paws, at the paw circles, and here, 2012s have a pretty sharp um, paws. They have sharp paws, so you're gonna draw them like this. Let me let me do the other one. So. As reference, um, they look like this. So the 2012 paws look like this. You don't uh, actually continue the toe beans. You just leave them like that. Like you don't have a line between them. It's just kind of like that because it's fabric. Um, and now on the tail, you just draw it a little more fluffy and change the shape a little bit. I hope this actually, you guys can understand what I'm doing here. Because I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right, but um, uh, yeah, you can see what I'm doing from the drawing. So this is technically your Furby 2012, but on Furby Booms, you're gonna want to draw the faceplate, you're gonna draw it like more spiked. Hold on, let me, let me do a little representation here. So it has spikes on the edges. So... You're going to want to draw it like this. Hold on. So this is how your Furby Boom faceplate is going to look like. So it has these spiked edges at the borders. Because Furby Booms and Furby 2012s are in the same thing. So, and I just forgot. You just need to add a little thing here on top. But yeah, so that's, you get it. Uh, and also on Furby Booms, the paws will look a little bit different. So... Let me make a little representation here. 
again. So they will look like this. They will have more uh, spiked toe beans and also uh, another set on top. It will look kind of like this. So um, this is how the fur goes over it. Yeah. And also uh, on Furby Booms, um, I'm not sure what other differences are. All right, the ears. So Furby Boom ear will have this kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. Uh, hold on. No, it's like, it's like this. So it, they will have, um, I don't know if you get it. It's this kind of hole here. Um, let me draw another one. So, kind of like this. So you'll want to draw that uh, instead of the classical 2012 year. Now, we're going to go next. Hold on, let me let me just erase the sketch on this one and show you guys the Furby 2012 slash boom. So this is a Furby 2012, but uh, if you make a boom, this is how you draw Furby 2012. And if you're drawing a boom, make sure to make these instead of these. So, next Furby is our beloved Furby Connect. So, the Furby Connect is one of the easiest to draw. Uh, as always, you draw the little head and a big body. A little, a little short, but a uh, fat body. So, now you have the two bubbles, as always, you know them. Uh, now we're gonna draw a small antenna on the head. You know your small antenna. Um, now, the shape of the ears is really hard to draw if you don't have a lot of exercise. But, I'm just gonna show you, you draw kind of like this. And then you go down like this. And another one, like this. So, this is what the connect ears look like. If you can't draw them, um, I don't know, I guess you could try. Um, but they kind of look like this. And the tail is the same as the booms and 2012s. Just kind of a droplet with, uh, just a stem with a droplet, r droplet on top. Now, the paws are gonna be circles again. Two circles on each side of the body. On Furby Connects, uh, Furby Connects have these kind of um, circular um, uh, donuts around their eyes. So you're gonna wanna draw those too. I usually don't draw the little uh, thing that the mask goes into, like the shape on the top of the head. I usually cover it with some fur, but if you wanna draw it, you can do it too. The beak will be very small because it's much smaller than the other generations. And this is the sketch already. So, this is what the Furby Connect sketch looks like. Now we'll trace it out. So I'm gonna start with the usual uh, two fluffs at the uh, corners of the face. The small beak. I'm gonna make the head round. With a little bit of fluff on top. So this is what the head looks like. Now, these circles... I'm gonna draw a set of circles on the eyes, and in those circles, I'm gonna draw the actual eyes. So like this, it kind of goes like two circles in in each other. And now we're gonna draw the actual pupils, which they, these are gonna have pupils, and they're also gonna have two. I can't really draw it, but I might draw for we connect eyes separately. So this is the head plus antenna. Now we're gonna make the ears, which is just you draw over the sketch, but you stop here, and you make another one like this, and here too. So you kind of go down. You see, I made these V's at the ear, these very, very thin stems, I don't know what to call them. And now you're just gonna continue going down like this, just go down, and once you have this shape, you're gonna make the little hole they have, like this. So it should look like this. If you want, uh, it also has like this kind of shape around the ears. Like the ear holes have a little jelly type uh, plastic around them. So if you want to draw that, feel free. Um, the chest fluff that I usually draw, I now just make the fluffy body. Um, just round fluffy body. And now at the paws, the paws are kind of like the Furby Boom, but a little bit different, so I'm gonna show you now. So this is like a usual Furby Boom paw, but on connects, 
you're gonna draw some little C's over the paws so they will look like this kind of like they have uh, toothless dragon claws but um yeah that's the best way I can describe describe it to you guys and I'm gonna do the same on this one and also draw the tail just the same as the 2012 and there you have your Furby Connect. Let me erase the sketch. So here we go. This is your Furby Connect. Oh, and I forgot one thing. We're gonna draw the mouth, of course. There we go. Now he's smiling. So we got your Furby Connect, and of course we're gonna draw the Furby 2023 as well. So for the Furby 2023, uh, I'm just gonna call it the new Furby because 2023 is really long. So I'm gonna draw it just under the 1998 one. As always, just the two bubbles. You know them. You love them. Uh, and now, this one's pretty different from the others. So you're gonna draw the ears the same way as the... Um, Furby Booms and 2012s, but you can make one go up like the Furby Connect because they move the ears like the Furby Connect. And now on top, you're gonna make a droplet that kind of goes into the head. So like this. Alright, so now for the beak, this one's beak is always open, open and has a different shape. So for this, you're gonna draw just a little C. You can see that I drew a little C on the face. And next, you're gonna lengue it, uh, make it just long, like that. And then, draw a line at the middle, like that. And then, you're gonna draw the tongue inside. So this is what you should look like. That's the beak of the 2023 Furby. Um, now, as for the faceplate, the faceplate is way more uh, smushed down. Like, more flat than the other ones. So it's gonna look kind of like this, and the ears are also a different shape, so you're gonna draw them like that too. Uh, and on top, there's gonna be a heart, and the um, fluff on the head comes from the heart. So um, the heart gem kind of um, is a starting point of the tuft on the head. So yeah, now in the ears, you're gonna want to trace out kind of a border of the ears, so you have the little... It, inside the place of the ears so your ears should look like that now you're gonna draw some little um, paws which are just gonna be circles as always they don't have a tail so you're just gonna leave it like this so this is the sketch let me show you guys this is the sketch of a 2023 Furby now we're gonna make the actual drawing and I'm gonna still add my um, signature tufts on the edges of the head. Now I'm gonna do go like this, like a normal Furby head, but I'm just gonna leave space for the tuft on the top. So now, just kinda trace over your sketch. There's nothing really going on here. And you're gonna make sure to leave place for the head tuft and heart on the faceplate. I'm also gonna draw the ears as I'm here. Alright. So here's the face. Uh, you can draw um, eyelashes if you want, if you feel like it, but I usually don't. Now just make the ear shape the same as the Furby Booms and 2012s. And then, you're gonna make it on the other side as well. Just outline that ear. You have this shape. Now, here's gonna be a little heart. Or at least the top of a heart. So in the ear, you have the top of a heart. And on top of that, you're gonna continue with these type of lines. For the LED bands inside of the ears. It's gonna be like a lot of V's circling around the heart. So that's how the ears look. Now we're gonna make the little chest fluff. The round and very fluffy circular body. 
leave some space for the paws. The paws will be really round, like the 1998. Just really round paws. And there you go, there is your Furby 2023. We draw it. Uh, now I'm just gonna erase the sketch. And here is your Furby 2023. Now I know there is also Furby Baby, Furby Baby 2005, and Shelby, and Gizmo, and all that stuff. Uh, and I think you guys can figure out how to draw those by yourself. Because it's not that hard, it's kind of the same thing, you just kind of add things to it. The Shelby uh, is just kind of a shell. You know, it's easy. You just draw a shell and give it some nubs at the end and just some eyes peeking out, and the beak. But it's not hard. So, um... Now I'm gonna draw you a Furby Connect eye, so you guys know how to draw those. So it goes like a circle, like this. We're gonna draw another circle inside the circle. And some more circles inside the circle, like this. And we're gonna draw another circle around the circle. You're gonna draw two kind of um, shiny things over here. This thing should be entirely black. And there will be kind of a shade going on from purple to light blue. So this is a Furby Connect eye. This is what it looks like. It also has a bit of a sparkle on it, but uh, that's too hard to draw, so I'm not gonna do it. So this is kind of everything. Um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful if you want to draw Furbies. Um, I've done my best, and if you don't understand something, tell me in the comments and I'll try to describe it and help you. I hope you guys can draw Furbies now, uh, so thanks for watching and goodbye.